All right. Am I live? It says my webcam is on. Am I seeing my fishy friends? It says Photoshop quit. That's okay. We're just going to ignore that because I'm done with Photoshop. I finished my thumbnail at the very last of seconds. I think my computer is wearing like a jet engine because I have video rendering right now. So there's that. But let's just see how many people are here. Uh, we have Bryson and Digimara, two admin team extraordinaire, Anthony Panita, Queen of Shadows, Taylor Bizarre, and Luna, Garchas42, Sunset Stars. Hey, hey, welcome, friends, to the live stream. Um, how many people do we have watching? Shadows, Taylor there we Bizarre, go. And now Luna, Garchas42. Okay, there we go. Be quiet, Faith. All right, be sure to hit that like button. I really appreciate all the thumbs up. Everyone stands. Hello, Dream Studios and Amy. Hey there, Faith. Hey, hey. Widget the Mermaid. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Glad you could make it to the live stream. 18 people watching. Oh, my goodness. This is too much to handle. You guys are awesome. Welcome. So glad you guys could make it. Happy Thursday. We're almost through the week. I'm looking forward to a weekend of spending some time in the sun with my friend Rebecca. Gonna go visit her and take along my other best friend, so it'll be a good girls trip, fun times, I've had a decent day at work today, and yeah, it's just, uh, it's a Thursday, which means I can post a throwback Thursday on my Instagram, perhaps, perhaps I'll do that, <laughs> the best piece of cheese is her, haha, <laughs> it's all random, XD, I have a mermaid tail, congratulations, hi Faith, hi Mermaid Opal, and see Opal the Marin, hello, how are you? I'm well. It's been a pretty fast week, actually. I was last week went by forever, and now it's already Thursday. I brought my first Mer Taylor model from yesterday. Congratulations! Which one? The one, two, or three? I have a terrible sunburn all over my body because I was swimming and it was worth it. I feel that. I feel that. I'm probably gonna get so burnt this weekend. Um, last time I went to the campground that I'm going to, I got burnt on my butt. It was really bad. Like, couldn't sit down. Sunburn bad. But it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, Dream Studios got the two. Nice. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. Anyways, so uh, if you guys are following my Instagram, you may have seen I posted my story that I won a giveaway. Uh, I don't know. I just have the anointing of the Lord on me. And so I'm really stoked to get this open. Um, we got 20 people watching. That's enough people to see my glee. Plus, I'm going to repost this as like a video, kind of not really. Anyways, Grip More. So, they're a company based out of Taipei, and they're just like, hi, we're making mermaid tails now, and people are like, what the heck? I saw a few of them in person at Mermagicon. They're like, sort of like a bio, not a bio, um, like a biometric skin. So, it's not silicone. It's like some, it's kind of like a plastic, but they make it look like scales and like, real nifty stuff so they're still getting started but they've partnered with mermaid zari so i think if you have more questions you can ask her but anyways they're giving away some bracers and i'm like bracers hello you know i love those i have a great many of them so they didn't tell me what color i'm getting i'm hoping i get like an orangey red but uh either way i'm very stoked for bracers i really should have gotten my scissors but you know we do it Okay, got the package open. Anything else in here? Nope. Alright. Ooh! Alright! Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, this is what I've got. I'm very quite confused by the paperwork in this packaging. Okay, this says, it's upside down. It's just like their address. Taipei County, Taiwan. Then... This, I think, is an advert for more of the products. They make. This is just like a piece of paper. This is like an email printed out. I'm so confused. They make shoes. Good. <laughs> All right. And then we've got, okay, this. Oh, man, that's so cool. Okay, so this little taggy thing here says, Luxury and stylish fashion can be animal conservation. Gritmore Supreme Biometric Fish... Snake skin is made of eco-friendly composition, polythyrene. Numerous discrete scales plated in a soft textile makes it like a fish, like real fish snake skins compared to traditional or embossed or printed faux leather. It's much more vivid than the scales removed 
natural leather available in the market. So their kind of whole deal is like people like the snake skin look and the fish scale look. Oh my gosh. But they're like, let's not kill the animals for their hides. So I'm just going to remove this tag here. So this is like a wonderful, wonderful new invention. I've never seen anything like this before except for at a Mermagic Con. So this is really neat, guys. It like, they individually, like, I don't know how I can, yeah, they individually come up. So it has this really cool texture if you pull it backwards. I don't want to be popping it backwards too much because I don't want to break it, but it looks really cool. It feels amazing. So let me take off this hair tie. So it came with two shoelaces. So it's kind of like a corset almost. So, um, dang it. It doesn't quite fit all the way around my wrists, but that's okay. Yes, I'll just have to lace it up to see the other one. I guess I gotta do the narrow part. There. Well, that's pretty nifty, I would say. This really reminds me of my friend Mermaid Viosa. She has a tail that looks like very similar to this, named Sweetheart. Okay, so I guess we'll just take the shoelace. Oh, oh, there's like four shoelaces. Okay, um, don't know if that's super necessary. I've never tied a corset, so <laughs> I don't really know how this is gonna work. I guess it's just similar to tying shoelaces. So you just kinda thread it. Although I don't know if I wanna tie it like shoelaces, but no matter. I'll just tie it like shoelaces. I know how to I know how to thread shoes. They look really pretty, very cool. Thank you, thank you guys. I put a link in the description if anyone wants to check out their website. Now, I think it's it's pretty obvious that like English isn't their first language. So it's a little like, what am I looking at here? And it was really slow to load on my computer. Uh, I don't know about anyone else. But if you want to check it out, they also make mermaid tails. So that's pretty cool. Well, clearly I'm not very good at this because I don't remember how to lace shoelace. <laughs> lace things shoelace style. We're getting there. Groovy. Okay. We're figuring it out guys. Eh, it just looks weird because it's all floppy. Eh, eh. Get in there. Get in. This one goes through. Wait. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I've done this for years. I've had shoes with shoelaces for years and yet I'm having such a hard time trying to assemble this. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got my converse all laced up, <laughs> then I'm just going to, <laughs> okay, uh, can't, I guess I didn't give it enough slack, <laughs> I can't get my wrist through it, Ah, oh, come on Faith, let's loosen that up a bit, here we go, Almost there. Here we go. Eh, eh. Hey, yeah. There we go. All right, I got it. I got it. Yee. That was like five minutes of unnecessarily awkward silence while I'm trying to do up these things. Okay, actually, I sort of dig the look of the like the almost like corsetty thing. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of Renaissance-ish. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it face the inside of my arms. So it looks like this. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. I like I like the compression of it. It's like, mm, yes, solid. I, I do like kind of like things being like quite tight on my skin. Like that's why I'm always like, the tail must be skin tight. So like people are like, do you ever feel claustrophobic? And I'm like, no. They're like, but it's like so restricting and restraining. And I'm like, it doesn't really bother me. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this loose because I can't quite, I can't tie it. I'm gonna need help to tie that. Okay, I guess we'll do the other one now. I'll read some things. I'm thinking the laces more, look more converse instead of corset. Yeah, I'm not like super digging the whole shoelace thing. It looks like something a real mermaid would make and wear as opposed to trying to look like it's part of your mermaid body. Yeah, yeah, it definitely like feels very armor-ish, so. Yeah, like, you know, it's a start. I think I definitely still prefer my silicone bracers and my fabric bracers that I have. But, I mean, these look real badass. So, there's that. Ooh, I said a bad word on YouTube. 
do not, do not come for me. Faith, random question. Do you know the doll place? Because she, she, she says she wants to show you her H2O silicone tail. Uh, maybe? I think I might follow her on Instagram. I did see someone was making a silicone monofin. I, like, literally just saw a video of it today while I was eating my lunch. So, perhaps. And then there's, yeah, the, there's also, like, someone in, some girl in Germany who's, like, a crafting YouTube channel who's, like, made, like, like, today I've decided to make a silicone tail. And it's like, what? How? She went AG and doing Oh, neat. Small world in the niche community. Okay, this one I was able to do much faster. Do, do, do. I'm trying to think of, like, alternatives I could use instead of shoelaces. Hiya. Hiya. There we go. And ploink. And yeah. Woohoo! Okay, so it's, like, kind of itchy on my wrist here. I'm not really sure what's making it itchy, but these are pretty cool. I'm excited to see how they perform in the water. I hope I can use them in the water. I'm pretty sure I can. Hiya! Looks pretty. Oh, guys, it would go so well with Freckleberry. Where is she? Thanks, Freckleberry. These go perfectly with Freckleberry, guys! Oh my gosh, is this not a perfect match? I was like, I feel like I have a tail that matches these. Clearly, I don't remember what tails I have. Oh my gosh, this goes so well. Oh my goodness. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Laces that look kind of like help would be pretty neat. Yeah. Actually, I have I have some like ribbons and stuff. I wonder in my craft bag. Let's see what we've got in the Save on Foods Halloween tote bag of craft supplies. No, oh, that's my tank top. That's not, that's not craft supplies. Whew, it smells like E6000. We have zip ties. I don't think that would look very good. Uh, oh, I have what I like to call grandpa wire. Uh, it's like a gardening wire. I don't think that would be very comfortable. Um, we have, oh, little silicone finny pins. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, here's the, okay. So this is the canvas sort of thread I have. Hemp cord, yeah. Do you think I should do it with some of this hemp cord, guys? Faith, I'll tell you, I am five foot nothing. Okay, do you think I should leave the shoelaces or like use the hemp cord? What do you guys think? Hmm. These are nice shoelaces though, I do like the purple. I must admit, I do like purple shoelaces, so I might try and use these for my shoe shoes. <laughs> My question to your disappeared so fast, would you consider, consider getting a tail from them? Do you use the Mahina yet? Not right now. I think they're still in a little bit of a research and development phase. I've seen them in person and they look okay, but I don't think they've quite nailed down the whole, like, I don't think they've quite made it as good as they could. So, yeah. Science the strings. Science the strings. It would work, but it would fray eventually. Use the cord, switch to the hemp so we can see it, and then choose. Okay. That's my hemp cord. Oh, it is? Oh, haha. <laughs> Sorry, Ellie. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just sisters sealing each other's sisters' craft supplies. Wow. Cord looks better as well. Less visible, far away than the shoelace. Yeah. If I... Um. Now, what color? I have, like, four different colors of cords here, and they're all kind of in a tangled mess. I've got... Kind of a magenta purple. Well, it's more just like kind of purple purple. I've got light purple. I've got kind of a magenta pink. And then I have light pink. Or maybe I should braid three of them together. Yeah, because that would look pretty good. Okay, so we got one vote for the darker one. All right, we'll do one for the darker purple. Your mermaid tail's in the washer. Ooh, congrats. Where did I put the shoelace? I literally... Where did I need it to? Mah! Oh, there it is. It's in the craft bag. Um, braid it. Oh, you're listening. You're finishing packing. Ooh, awesome. Well, I love you. Um, okay. Okay, we've got one vote for dark purple. Okay, so we'll start measuring out the dark purple. Braids. Braids are so cute. If you haven't tried it, you should try a four-strand braid so you can use all the colors. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Can I do a four-strand braid? I'm sure I can figure it out. Okay, let's... This has turned into a crafting live stream. How to braid a four-strand braid. 
let's figure that out. Uh, since you won the Olympics, were they difficult? Um, I found, like, it was hard. It was hard, but I have an extremely high level of fitness. Well, okay, that's a little bit too much of a brag. I do have, I'm really, I'm better at swimming than most mermaids. Uh, just, it, like, most of the people that auditioned, or that did it, I think. Because I've got experience lifeguarding and swim teaching, and so, like, being a swim coach and doing long-distance swims and stuff and tricks, and I've been doing this for six years. So, they weren't hard to participate in, but to do it well, it was tricky. There's two different kinds. There's a diamond four-strand braid and then the flat four-strand braid. Alright. Guys, what? Okay, so I'm going to use all four colors. Okay, four-strand braid. Well, that looks pretty. Uh, let's just do images, because I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch a tutorial because I'm I'm busy hanging out with you guys. Okay, perfect. That'll work. So I guess I need to measure out the rest of my cord colors too with the hemp cord. And I'm just gonna drag this over here so I can see it. And then I will see you guys. I'm learning how to braid. Let's go. I know how to braid. I know how to braid with three things. I'm not very good at it, but I do know how. It's just braiding with four, which I've never done before. That sounds tough. Right. Whoop! Oh, that one's... Okay, that one's too short, though. So let's go back in the bag. I don't want to put my tail back under my bed, so it's just laying flat in the middle of my floor. I'm going swimming two days anyway, so <laughs> welcome to my world. I have, like, right... Like, literally right next to me, I have a tail, a swimsuit, a top, a rash guard, and mermaid tail leggings. Upstairs is another tail and a wetsuit, and then I think somewhere on the stairs is a swim bottom and a swim top. Uh, yeah, welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm like, I need to pack for tomorrow I'm gonna go swimming, and this weekend I'm also gonna go to a lake, so I've gotta like pack those, get, get all ready for that too, and I'm like, ugh, so many tails. Okay, uh, so now the light purple color. Where are you? How many tails do you have? I only have one. Uh, like, 34? I, I find four strands just as easy as three strands, particularly the diamond. Okay, I don't really know which one I'm doing. It looks very Celtic is the one that I'm doing. Then again, any sort of like braided knot thing looks Celtic, so I don't know if that was extremely helpful in regards to specificity. Hello. Alright. Come on now. Where's the end? This is so tangly. Tangly dangly. Ah! Darn you, hemp cord. Okay. Almost done. You do do. There. I think this will look a lot better than shoelaces. It'll add to the more kind of like warrior mermaid aesthetic, anyways, if I've got like a sweet Celtic looking braid. In it. Yeah, I have short hair, so I was wondering if you have longer hair swimming is an inconvenience while swimming. Um, sometimes. I don't like it when it gets to my face, so that's why I always do like a half up, half down hairstyle, where I tie it back. Like, I know there's people that don't do that, but I'm just like, I don't, how do you do that? I can't. I literally can't. Okay, so now we get the light pink cord that hasn't even been used, I don't think. Lucky me. There we go, and... Okay, that one was bloody too. I used to have really long hair. It almost always gets stuck in my armpits. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I saw Virginia Mermaid did a, a video swimming with like a 42 inch wig and she's like, it did not go well. <laughs> okay. I wish I could join you on this so I could show you how to do it. Oh yeah. Wish you were here. But instead you are far away. Okay, but now I've got, now I've got my cords together. So... Ah, uh, I wonder, do I have like a clip? Uh, I guess I've got a paper clip that'll hold them together nicely. There. So the paper clip is holding them together. And yeah. Nope, that didn't work. Let's try that again. How much do you wear your silicone tail? Not as often as I probably would like to. Um, it's just a really big ordeal to pull it out. Um, I haven't worn it since Mermagic Con, which, or no, no, that's not true. I wore it for a video, but yeah, it's been a while since I've properly worn it. Um, I'm planning on doing it, 
when I go camping, uh, not this weekend, but next month. So that'll be good because I'm doing the uh, Mermaid, Amethea, and others annual camping trip, which is fun, which reminds me I still need to edit the video from last year's camping trip, but last year's camping trip was kind of a bit of a bust, so. Okay, plus stuff. Hi, hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastically, thank you. Okay, so four strand braid. Whew, okay, this is already very complicated, but the good news is that they're all different colors, so that's super helpful. And also this... Oh. oh, this string is so long. That's the problem, is that it's going to be really hard to braid it if it's, like, super duper long. Mm, this is proving to be more complicated than I thought it would be. I don't actually use my tail that often. Most recently, I've just been using her monofin. That's fun. Monofin training is also good. Okay. Eh. You know what? I'm just going to tie these in a knot. I'm just going to knot them at the top, because... I want all her lovely tails in the background. Yes, they are lovely. I love them all. They are all my babies. And I think, actually, I'm going to bring this this weekend. Because I was thinking, my friend's like, oh, what tails should we wear? And I was like, hmm, maybe I'll wear a pink one. I was thinking of bringing, um, what's her name? Luna, uh, my new-ish, the fin fun I won at Mermagicon. But I'm thinking I'm going to bring Freckleberry Treble. <laughs> you can do it in either your way, but... And either way, you're doing better me than braiding. Ah! <laughs> well, you, you picked it up pretty quick, like you said. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to shove this in the corner of my computer. There we go. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but I've got it, like, taut on the edge of the computer. Now I have to untangle them, kind of separate them out. And then I will begin attempting to braid. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> This is called Faith Tries New Things, a live stream. If she attempts to improve a product she literally just got. <laughs> okay, get back in there. Apparently this didn't work as well as I thought it would. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just have to squish it inside my computer tray. Oh yeah, that's what I've been doing this week is I've been getting ready to make my first PC, which is really fun. So, I'm going to be a PC gamer now. Okay, so first thing I do is I take the second one from the inside and the other second one, and I cross them, okay? And then I pull them under the ones on the outside, okay? And then I take the ones on the outside, and I cross them, and then I pull them, oh, under and over the ones on the inside. And then I, okay, let's just see how this works. Ugh. And then I cross, okay, I can see something happening. And then I cross these two, and then I pull them under and over the ones on the outside. Oops. And then cross these two, and I pull them under and over. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to turn out at all, but we're just going to keep going. Okay, cross these ones. Under and over. So they're back on the inside, I think is how it goes. And then I oops, where'd you go? There we go. Cross it. And then I pull it under and over. Okay. Now the problem is that it's very loose right now. So I literally have no idea if the braid is actually happening. So maybe I should change my approach in how I do it, because it's not very tight, and it's not making a lot of sense if it's not tight. <laughs> this stream is watching me figure out how to braid. What's your favorite type of tail, fabric or silicone? I like both. All of my tails are my babies. What's your favorite color? Mine is purple. I also like purple. 
Everyone's talking about tails, and I only have used a mobile phone right now. That is okay. Honestly, someone asked me on my Instagram, they're like, can I get, should I just get a monofin to start? I'm like, yes, that's a great idea, honestly. Okay, four strand braiding. I'm going to look at a slightly different one. Okay, so I cross it. Oh, oh, oh no, that's far too complicated. One of them is supposed to go over and the other one's supposed to go under? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Mimi from Sailor Moon? Nope, but sure. Go ahead, name your tail after her anyways. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna start from scratch again. Okay, A, stay the same. B. Oh, which one's B? This one's B. B goes under and over and then C goes over. <laughs> oh, this is difficult. Okay, and then D goes under B and over A. Yes. Well. Okay, C is still on the outside. Okay, then which one's A? Uh, <laughs> help! Okay, then A goes underneath D and <laughs> we're eighty five percent done. I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. This is this is quite difficult. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this one. This is quite tricky, especially because I'm using a really, really, really long cord. So. Hmm. Yeah, that's like. You can make a four strand braided bracelet. This is like, I don't know, this is too complex for my little thing. How's the braid going? Not well, my guy. It's not well. It's just... there. I think there's different ways, and I'm getting confused. <laughs> like, I'm sure once I've got the muscle memory down, then I can do it. But I'm like, I do not... I'm not even very good at braiding to begin with. So... You know what I'm going to do is I am just going to make it up. I am going to braid with three strands and then just yeet one thing in. Yo, I love your videos. Thank you. So this is what we're going to So for recap, for anyone that's not, that wasn't here, I got these bracers. Really cool, right? Well, there's, they have shoelaces to tie them together, which I'm not a fa fan of. So now I'm just trying to braid, and I have four colors of hemp rope. And everyone's like, use four colors! But I don't know how to braid with four colors, and it's quite difficult trying to get that in. So we're just gonna, I'm kind of just gonna braid like normal, but then occasionally bring the fourth strand in, which is what I'm doing right now, and it actually seems to be working out okay. So I'm just, I'm just doing, doing my best here, guys. I am trying my best. Is it going to look pretty? Probably not, but that's fine. I'm just sort of twisting and turning and pulling things away and calling it a day. Maybe I'll just go back to a three strand braid. Hmm. Problem is that if it's three strands, then it's either going to be two purple and one pink or two pink and one purple, which just isn't isn't in harmony. I will say it's a great community, so you don't have to do much. How do you, how long do you stay or how much longer? I usually stay on for an hour or so, another half hour or so. Goodness. It's been half an hour of me not quite answering questions and trying to four strand braid. <laughs> this is going well, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm making progress. I don't know how much progress, but I'm making progress. I'm just kind of twisting things in and around of themselves. Oh, 
and I made a big giant knot at the bottom. Ah! <laughs> I'm just pretend poor strand breeding. <laughs> oh, I forgot about my coffee. Hmm. Imagine how the first person to make a braid felt. Hmm, that's true. Have you met, met fans at Mermagicon? Yes, I met lots of wonderful people in the mermaid community at Mermagicon. It was very much fun. Very good. Because I think, like, people are like, oh, you meet fans. And like, no, I don't meet friends. Or I don't meet fans. I meet people who I know of in the mermaid community and people who I haven't met in the mermaid community who might know who I am. Which is a weird thing to say, but... Honestly, it's, it's very surreal, but it was fun, and we all have one thing in common, and so it's not really like meeting a fan, it's just meeting a fellow mermaid enthusiast, and sometimes my videos help people to become mermaids, which is pretty darn cool, if I do say so myself. I think I'm kind of getting the hang of how I'm gonna, how I'm doing a four-strand braid. I'm just kind of, I've just kind of made it up, but I think it's actually turning out all right. I'm just sort of twisting and turning and making things up as I go along, but it's actually not turning out too bad. If I go around to see you, I'd probably be kind of nervous. Ah, oh, don't be panicky. Besides, I'm a big dork. I was very, very hyper and weird at Mermagicon. I think a lot of people are like, I want to talk to her, but what is wrong with her? <laughs> I will try not to be so over caffeinated and crazy. But, I mean, who knows if I can even go this year, because... Travel bands! Where was Mermagicon? It was in Mernassus, Virginia. Here, have a coupon to win free Google. <laughs> My mom came or me a Mako Mermaid's room moon ring and it came in in a little blue claim and I love it and yes oh that's so wonderful I had a moon ring but I don't know what happened to it which is kind of a bummer unless it's in my jewelry box but I thought that I just kind of left it on my desk you know when you leave like a small thing on your desk and then it just disappears forever and you're like cool I guess that's the way life is that happened to my moon ring but I'm getting a new computer so I might need to haul out this desk and get a new one because my monitor doesn't fit really on my desk. Like I have like almost zero desk space, which is really frustrating because it's got storage, but the storage takes up the spot where I'd normally put a monitor, which is really annoying. Hope the travel band will end before Burn Magic Run. Yes, me too, because I want to go to it again. But I am Canadian and I also think the US is on fire right now, so I don't really have much desire to go y'all are cray cray and your country is not hand in handling the pandemic very effectively <laughs> I'm designing my first persona at the moment I started with so much with colors and terrible for understanding colors um oh here there's a there's a, a program not a program a uh, healer, I think is what it is yeah uh, I'll just paste a link it's called color.adobe.com and you can, like, this is how I chose, like, my branding colors, which eventually turned into my mermaid colors. Ooh, just dropped my ring light down there. Um, you basically just, like, pick a color or two, and then it, like, automatically, like, finds shades, and you can specify how many shades or how, like, what type of color palette. It's super handy for graphic design. Afraid that November will bring good stuff. Yep. Would you like to get shot, or would you like to get stabbed? Once again, take your pick. <laughs> or as my, my co-worker said, would you like to be poisoned slowly, or would you like to be blown up by a nuke? <laughs> take your pick. Okay, well, the braid is almost done. Is it a good braid? No. But is it a braid? Yes, and it is almost done. So, that's pretty nifty, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> for some reason, my brain is like, hey, Faith, remember the dance for a band trip and festival you had to go to when you were in grade 10? And I'm like, or grade 11 or something? And I'm like, yes, thank you, brain. 
didn't really want to remember it. And it's like, too bad. Let's think about this. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> I love remembering when I was 17. I'm definitely going to use the Adobe Color Fix. Yes! Do it. It's super handy. Yeah, someone, like, my graphics design teacher was just like, here, have this. And I'm like, okay. Once I get a silicone tail, I'm going to cry of happiness and be an emotional train wreck because I'm already an emotional train wreck anyways. Well, I hope you can live your mermaid dreams. But just know that a silicone tail is not the be-all, end-all. And they're kind of overrated. There. I said it. I said it. Also, I had a really, like, controversial opinion thought. And I'm like, do people really want to be professional mermaids? Or do they just want a silicone tail and to get attention? Because <laughs> you can do both and you don't have to be a professional mermaid. Uh, the braid, like, there's parts where it looks really good. Where I'm like, yay. Oh, well, I do not love remember braid when I was 17. Me neither. Which mall fin is the fastest and what tails does it work with? The finish shooter. It works with vinyl tails. Well, I don't know if the finish shooter is the fastest. Fast is subjective. But my favorite fast model fans are the Linden, the Shooter, and the Mahina. I just did a video about tails that fit the Mahina. The link is in the description. And the finish shooter I use with my Finfold fabric tails, but I'm going to hit it up at the pool with that big blue one, the Mermaid Aqua Tail in Lapis Lazuli. I'm going to hit up the pools for the pool with that on Monday. Should be fun. Pretty Mermaid just made a playlist of all the model fins. You can check out with lots of model fins. Yes, that's true. The braces. Please specify more of what you're saying, because I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> Almost done. Ugh, I got, like, this much left. Whew. I've, like, if you guys have noticed, I've, like, backed away, because I'm trying to keep it taut. So that I can braid it nicely. Oh, now it's just turning into a tangled, garbled mess. Yeah. There we go. Almost there. I'm hoping to get a mahina for my birthday, and I'm excited. Yay! That's great. Super hope that you can get a Mahina. Oh yeah, by the way, um, if anyone's from Canada, there is a super good shipping deal going on right now with Mermaid Inc. Uh, I put the link in the description. Today is the last day to do so. It's not complicated, you got this. Oh, Siren Sadies, I don't know if you know, but I, I am not uh, going through with the tutorial. I'm just making it up. <laughs> I'm literally just kind of twisting the strands around each other. And some of them look good, and some of them look really bad, but I... I'm almost done making up my own four-strand braid. <laughs> Maybe I wonder if my mom knows how to do one. I feel like she did at one point. She might be able to help. <laughs> Plus, I, like, I don't want to watch a tutorial video or whatnot. Because, yeah, I'm, like, trying to go live. I'm <laughs> trying to give you guys a fun show. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, oh yeah, also, I have a new video that's going to go out. I think I'm going to post it on Sunday, because uh, I'm going away this weekend, and I wanted to do a live before I posted the video, but um, Sunday will be June 28th, and yeah, I'm going to go uh, visit some friends in a couple hours away, but I do have a video. It's rendered already. I think it should be done now. Yes, it is done. So, I'm planning on uploading it probably on Sunday. Um, I think Sunday would be the best time. I don't know if I'll be able to do, like, a pre-video live or a premiere. I'll try. Um, are you making a necklace or a bracelet? I am making string for a bracer. Any good waterproof cameras you recommend? A GoPro. And then people say, but I found a cheaper version of a GoPro on Amazon. Are we guessing what the video is about? Um... If, I mean, you could. That's not really what I normally do that in my preview live stream, though. Um, but uh, I normally, yeah, I normally do a preview live stream, but I don't know if I'll have Wi Fi where I'm camping, so possibly not. I'll try and do a premiere at least. If I can't do a live stream on Instagram, if I have to like use my data for a premiere, I'll probably do that. But yes. Have you ever been to the Renaissance Festival? Um, we don't have Renaissance Festivals in Canada, not really. I've been to a few sort of Ren Fairs, but not really. It's not much of a culture thing in Canada as it is in the States, which is a bit of a bummer because it looks really cool, and I agree. Yes, I know several mermaids that perform at Renaissance Festivals. 
as mermaids. And there's rent, rent fairs in like every state, so you gotta have to be more specific. <laughs> Some even like different counties have different rent fairs. Okay, we are done. Just going to tie this off now. Call it a day for this braid. Um, yeehaw. Yeah, it'd be nice to go to the Seattle Rent Fair one time. One of my friends goes. She really likes it. Alrighty. Da -da -da -da! So that is that. Um, I don't know if it's as long as the shoelace that I had. Uh, oh, yeah, it's just about the same length, which is great. So, yes. <laughs> So now we're just going to pop it through the shoelace holes and see how it works. Okay. I I don't know if this looks as clean as I'd hoped it to be. <laughs> I feel like it kind of looks a little bit worse than I was anticipating, but it's fine. It's fine. We're, I mean, I have a solution either way. It's just this solution, I think, is the slightly better solution. But it's okay. All right. Ugh. Except this, that solution that I thought was going to be better kind of looks bad, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Yep. In you go through the holes. Doop -ba -da -doop -ba -ba. So tomorrow is an exciting day. I'm going to start on my PC build, which is super exciting. So this, hopefully, this video that I'm actually pretty proud of that I'm will be posting this weekend, uh, is gonna be I think my last one I'm posting on or editing on this computer, which is kind of crazy because I've been doing all my YouTube stuff for the past four years, pretty much. Well, more like three years, three and a bit years, on this MacBook Pro 2011 that I bought off of Craigslist for 600 bucks. No, this is a good pictorial. It's a good pictorial. I don't know what that means, but thanks. <laughs> oh, dang it. I realize I'm like, shoot. I was like, yeah, this is working. But I now have one loose strandy strand up here. Hey man, if you ever want to try it again later, you can just untie it. Oh, Bryson! He donated on Streamlabs! That is so cool. Thank you. It works. I didn't know that it worked. That's great. You can just untie it and rebraid it. Yes, that's being said, it looks really good already. Okay. Well. Do -do -do. So, this is what it looks like. I think that looks prettier. I don't know about you guys, but I think that definitely looks a lot prettier. I had to do it through PayPal, but yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. Clearly I didn't do the... Okay, I need to... <laughs> I need to actually lace it properly. Because I didn't... I didn't do it correctly. So let's... Let's do this again. Oh, concept. I can lace it while it's on my arm, and then I don't need to worry about it being too tight or too loose. Woohoo! Look at me go, using my brain for thinking and things. Oh, dang it. Eh, eh. Eh, dang it, the braid. The braid is coming undone! Oh, my hard work! My empire! There we go. This just in, 24 people, watch. And we got young female, not doing a good job at braiding. You're back, hello, welcome back. I've made a braid, kind of. <laughs> that is update. Update number one, I've made a braid. Update number two, it's not that good. <laughs> but I think it looks better than the shoelace. But you know, ugh. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm not going to do it on my arm. It's too complicated when I do it on my arm. <laughs> I'd like to see it on my lap. 
It's like lacing up a pair of shoes. Normally I'm used to be being able to see my shoes. Oh, it is like really warm down here. I might go for a float in my backyard pool. I don't really want to go under because I'm kind of not feeling like trying to shower again for like the third time this week. <laughs> you know what? It's original. That's good. <laughs> but I might just float on my floaty in the water with my iced puffy, because I'm nowhere near done it. Oh no, your cat, your cat is sick. Oh no, I hope they didn't hurt themselves or anything. You shall pray for the little baby cat. You have a pool? I have a little backyard dinky donkle thing. It's very small, <laughs> but yes, it's how I've been staying sane. Mm -hmm. You can, I can barely fit in it in a mermaid tail. <laughs> do, 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 Okay, shove it in. Come on. <laughs> what did you study in college? I studied sound production, music, and media. Well, I need a small one. Yes. Get, get that, um, onward mermaid vibes. I saw Onward. I was like one of the few lucky people to see it in the theaters before everything shuts down. And then it's on Disney Plus. So that was fun. I watched it on Disney Plus the other month and it was like, wow! Am I losing sanity or faith change your top? I think you're losing your sanity because I, I have not changed. <laughs> I am still wearing my shirt dress, my t-shirt dress and my necklace and nothing else. No pants for me today. It was one of those days where I woke up kind of late and I was like, it's too hard to think about wearing pants today, so we're not going to. We're going to wear a dress and slightly offend people with my unsightly legs. There we go. <laughs> but someone, we had like a bit of a party at work today to celebrate someone's retirement, and they're like, oh, you dressed up. And I'm like, yes, I did. Here to support Pastor Steve. <laughs> yes, I've dressed up. Has nothing to do with the fact that I... Didn't want to wear pants today. There we go. Okay, that actually worked now. So, that is that. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to tie it off in a way that, like, I can still access it, you know? So, like, yes. Very difficult to think of it. To be fair, legs suck in general. Yes, which is why I'm a mermaid. Because mermaids don't have to wear pants. And that is nice to hear but it's still like i've got the problem that i have with the shoelaces where it dangles so i don't know maybe i just need to do like some sort of little small knot and then just cut it off which is brings me to my next point which i thought about original when it when i was doing the shoelaces i want to delete the part that was ugly and then keep the part that is good so that's what I'm doing right now, is I'm like kind of pushing it through, you know, keeping more of the good part and getting rid of more of the bad part, if that makes sense, you know? You know? <laughs> A slip knot? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, just one more. A little scooch. 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 It's so satisfying scooching things through sho shoelace things. I would used to do that like in gym class when I was bored. I'd just like scooch my sho shoelaces around. There we go. Okay. Ugh. She got a head tilt from ear inflammation. She stopped being. She's very slow and sad. Aww. Poor kitty. Okay. Now I think I know what I'm going to do. So I am going to make it. <laughs> See, the problem is that I get, mm, <laughs> I just don't know what to do with the rest of the, the thread, but I think I have an idea. I think what I'm going to do, like, I don't know how to make, like, a clasp, you know? But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, oh, wait, hmm, how does that work? How is that going to work? I wonder if I have a bead of some sort, because... One of my friends did that. That's why I don't untie my shoelaces until the laces get wonky. So, uh, yes, yes. So, what have I got in my box of fun? Ah, here is my. Ooh, 
ooh, ooh, concept. Oh no, there's like no room. What do I got for beady things? A little bit of chain. Grab one of these. Hmm, okay. An idea is formulating in my little devious brain. Uh, let's choose Pikachu. I choose you. No, you're pointy. You don't want a pointy one. I choose you. You were less pointy. Ah, gonna try giving her tuna. Tuna always makes my cat happy. Which, by the way, I don't know where she is, and that's quite upsetting because I love her so much. Okay, so now I've. I think I need to take this off in order to properly figure out how to <laughs> secure it and fasten it in a way that's convenient. So, yeah, these bracers are cool, but I think there's still a little bit R&D that needs to be done, you know, to make sure that they're ready for the public to actually enjoy wearing and not it's just being like an uncomfortable accessory that doesn't help. So, what I am going to do with you, oh, the things I'm going to do with you, little bracer. We need the permaid. I don't know where she is. I looked for her briefly. I think she might be outside for this. I was like, ah, no time. I like, it's like, Willow, can't find her. Okay, too bad. Some other time, hopefully next week's stream, we can have Willow on as a special honored guesty guest. Come on, get in there. So close. Yes. Oh, no. I got half of the rope in. There we go. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> so now, I'm going to wrap this. I have no idea if this is going to work. Look at me. I'm wrapping. I have a mug with a cat mermaid that says per made law I got from Cracker Barrel. Of course. Good old Cracker Barrel. Known for their tasteful home decor. And mediocre biscuits and gravy. Yeah, I said it. I tried Cracker Bail and I don't like it that much. Also because I'm not American, so, you know, I don't have the same nostalgia tongue glasses, you know, when there's something. <laughs> so my dad grew up in uh, Saskatchewan, the capital of Saskatchewan, Regina, and he, uh... <laughs> He went to this ice cream place. I forget what it was called, but in this ice cream, at this ice cream place, you could get sprinkle dinkles on your ice cream, which is like just sprinkles. And um, so he was dating my mom, and you know they were talking about their childhoods, and she was coming out to Saskatchewan to visit him and his parents, and he's like, "Oh, and we have to go to such and such ice cream place." He's like, "Oh, it's really fun. It's super fun and like really tasty, and they give you like fudgy wudgy ice cream with sprinkle dinkles." And my mom's like okay and then they get there and he's like kind of built it up and it's really not like it's just kind of average ice cream and he's like the sprinkle tinkles then she just kind of made fun of him for the sprinkle tinkles but yes <laughs> that was a not very exciting story about the sprinkles but you know they were just like sad little you know plasticky hard sugary sprinkles that don't actually taste that good and she's like wow oh it was called the milky way ice cream and I remember I went there. It was like, yep, yeah, it's ice cream, you know. An ice cream shop run by depressed teenagers. Just like any other sort of summery treat. <laughs> okay. Almost there. Just about. So what I'm doing now is I'm making this little gemstone thing uh, attached to the end of the string. And then what I'm going to do so I'm going to make a loop in my other braid on the other side of it so that it can there that looks perfect not really but great oh concept I'm gonna say dollar general sprinkles taste like plastic ha <laughs> yes I would like the look of moontail from the two tails but they haven't restocked and I'm sure they're missing in action yeah I think they I think that they've not I think they've decided to stop making the liquid moon, according to one of my friends, because she had one and she wanted, like, the swimsuit or something, and they're like, oh no, we don't make it anymore. Yep. Okay. Then, I guess what I could do is I could literally just do it on the other side, too, but 
I don't really like, no, because then it would just be tight. So I take this, then with this end, I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to make a loopy loop in my in my thing. I want to get these shoes to light up when you walk and stuff, but the company's social media hadn't posted in over like one year, so I never got them. Oh no! I hope you filed with PayPal. And I'm pretty sure there's more than one company that makes those type of shoes, so I'm sure you could find them. If, unless like it's only been one that makes the adult ones. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not super involved in the sneaker community. <laughs> um. Okay, so this is turning out to be a little bit more it's so hard to do it on my hand. That's the problem, is that I'm trying to do this on my one arm, and it's, like, kind of tricky. Okay, where's my Sharpie? That's a, that's a highlighter. You want a Sharpie, because we're, we're going to do... Ah! So we're going to draw. Also, behold my mermaid mug to hold all my pens, because it got a chip in it, but I still wanted to use it. And my brilliant sister Ellie was like, use it as a pen holder, and I'm like... You are much smarter than I am. I was just going to be sad. But now it has a purpose in a new life. Okay. Well, I've got that undone. So now I'm going to slurp, slurp, slurp. Get this thing off of me again. Eh. Of course I chose it to do it on my right hand. <laughs> Which is my dominant hand, of course. Eh. Almost off. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Where did I make that mark? Oh, I see it. Okay. What was the mark for again? Okay. Right. Loop. So. wrap this around a couple times and then just see if I can make a knot. Huzzah! Ugh. There we go. Okay. This is turning out a lot chunkier. Uh. Ugh. Yeah. And one more. Okay. Well, let's just see how well that worked. Mm, it's not a tight enough loop. It's way too big. I mean, it kind of works, but not really. I'm just going to... Darn it, now I've made it super tight. Ugh. Ugh. You guys are talking about my cup. This is a cup from Starbucks, and there's stickers on it. Lots of different stickers. And then this is just a cup from Walmart that's sort of shiny. Have you heard of Fairy Mermaid Tale? No. Um, I've heard of Fairy Tales Bangkok, if that's what you're talking about. And I've heard of Seaside Fairy Tales. Um, and I've heard of a few fairy companies that, like fairy wing makers and crafters that also make mermaid things. Because the mermaid community is like, we like it, it's shiny. You belong to us now. And they're like, oh, okay, Etsy sales. Sounds good to me. Um, that's what you're referring to. Okay, almost there. I need to make this loop much smaller. And I'm gonna make it only about the size of my finger. Yup. Let's see how that works. Ah, yes, much better. Slide the bracer on yet again for a third. Is it the mermaid cup from Starbucks? I do have the mermaid cup, but I also have this one, which is just kind of like pretty blue colors. And then I've covered it in stickers, because that's how I do. I just cover everything I own in mermaid stickers. <gasps> Although I don't know if I want to cover new PC in mermaid stickers. I feel like it's a little bit too sacred to do that. Okay, so this is what I've come up 
width for the closure. Um, but I don't think actually that's working that well. I don't like it. <laughs> like I like it, but not a lot. Because this is not in the middle, this bead is not in the middle. So I think what I'm gonna do instead, well, I want it to like, <clears throat> all these more stickers, yes. I don't know. I mean, it's better than just having like the, the ugly shoelace dangling. But like this, if I just cut off this end, this is sort of what it looks like. So, so pretend this doesn't appear. It just kind of does that, which I guess is pretty-ish, but I might as well just done a loop, you know? Just done, just knotted it itself. Eh. Laptops are the most deserving of mermaid stickers. Agreed. Yes, my laptop is covered in mermaid stickers, and I'm kind of sad. I'm gonna be selling my laptop to my best friend because she needs it for schoolwork, and I'm like, hmm, I, uh, I'm just snippy shipping this. I'm just being impulsive right now. I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna miss my mermaid stickers. So no, I want to see if maybe I can salvage them. Eh. What about lacing it the other way so the knot is at the wrist? That could work. That could work. But I don't, like, it's still, like, there's still gonna be some sort of weird, like, dangly bit. Because I, I, the thing is, is that I lace it up tight, and then I need slack to undo it. Well, where's that slack gonna be, and where's it gonna be stored? Okay. There's my little braid. So, this is now what it looks like. Oops. There we go. So it's not terrible. Look up corset tie lacing so it ties in the middle. Hmm. Why didn't you say that in the first place? <laughs> All right, let's try that. Corset tie lacing. Hmm. That looks very complicated. All of these are still showing the knot at the bottom, though. This is, whew, like I'm not very good at like rope work and stuff, which is unfortunate because I do want to get better at that sort of stuff because it is a really neat art form, but yes, this is quite complicated. I just got here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Buy her new scissors for birthday. <laughs> These are fine scissors. I was just using my left hand, I'll have you know. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. I mean, this is fine for now. This is fine for now. I'm still really, like, the, I'm still really impressed with the bracer. I'm just like, how do I make it suck less? You know? Ooh, you know what I could do is I could just bunch it all up in the middle like this. That looks terrible. At least the colors are pretty. At least it's pretty colors. So, I've got that going for me. It looks pretty. Hiya! 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 For me, finding tops that fit my persona is hard. <laughs> What's your favorite mermaid tail? I don't have a favorite. They are all my babies. Oh my goodness, it is 434. Okay, I'm gonna go, you guys. I have to finish up some more uh, video stuff for my new video, as in slicing it down into little things. Oh, and my darling sister just got home. Perfect timing. I wonder if string of stretch would help. Perhaps. We shall work on this further. Love you guys so much, and I will see you on Sunday for the premiere of my new video.